Four things narcissists do when you're not there. It may often seem as though the narcissist wants to be alone, but narcissists hate being alone. They cannot live without supply. They cannot live without attention from other people. They need someone to impress. They need someone to deceive so that they can fulfill their wants and needs. And at one point you were that person until the narcissist got bored, until they began to lose interest in you, until they took you for granted. And that's when they desired to have something new. They wanted that buzz they get from meeting a new person, which is why they didn't mind neglecting you. They didn't mind tossing you to the side because they needed more time to focus on other things. That is when they will say they need space. They will end your relationship suddenly and without explanation. They will withdraw from all communication. Or they will become very offensive and bad-mannered towards you. They will push you away. They will start arguments with you for no reason. They will blame you for everything. until you feel like your only option is to give them space. But they're not revealing their true intentions to you. They're not telling you the real reason why they want space. Because they don't want you to know what they're up to. They want to keep you in the dark. Which is why I decided to create this video. To shed some light on what the narcissist is doing when you're not there. One, they are seeking new supply. The most obvious thing the narcissist does when you're not there is they seek supply. They're trying to impress a new person. Because they prefer to have multiple sources of supply at one time. One person could never be enough for the narcissist. They're too insecure. They need lots of attention. And they will make up excuses to put you aside. Two, they are punishing you. Sometimes the narcissist will push you away just to punish you. And that's all they're really doing when you're not there. Maybe you confronted them on something. Or you said or did something that offended them. So they feel they need to get revenge. They feel the need to punish you. Three, addictions. When you're not there, the narcissist will be indulging in one of their many addictions. They are dependent on many unhealthy activities or behaviors, such as shopping, gambling, alcohol, drugs, video games, and sex. It's escapism. They're trying to seek distraction and relief from their unpleasant reality by seeking entertainment or engaging in fantasy because they hate the reality of what they've become. Four, 
they're preparing for the discard. They're preparing to get rid of you, but they're not quite ready yet. Because they're still getting something out of it by keeping you in the picture. So instead, they will ignore you. They will leave you in an uncertain or undecided state where you do not know what will happen or when something will happen. They will leave you in an uncertain situation that you cannot control and in which there is no progress or improvement while they're busy plotting what they're going to do next. They're plotting the next move. But they will make up some excuse for you they will tell you they're preoccupied with something, but really, they're grooming their new supply. They're getting ready to advance their new supply to the primary position, and they're preparing to get rid of you. The more time you spend with the narcissist, the more they will begin to see you as the problem. They will begin to see you as this person who is causing inconvenience and annoyance. And they will try to spend as much time as they can away from you because you're just a means to an end. You're just there for when they need you, for when they have a useful purpose for you. You're expendable. But as long as they're buried first in from being with you, they will keep you around. But it's not because they care about you. It's not because they desire to have a future with you. Narcissists do not want love. They do not want a relationship. They just want someone there to serve them and fulfill their wants and needs. They're self-absorbed and they lack empathy. They put their own needs before everyone else's, which is why when you're not there, they will be behaving in a dishonest way. They will be doing or intending to do something wrong. They will be indulging in their addictions. Because although it may seem like they decide to be alone, they can't really be alone. Narcissists hate their own company. They do everything they can to avoid having to experience that. They're always looking for a distraction. So when the narcissist says they want to be alone, What they really mean is they want to be away from you because they've already learned you. They know everything they need to know about you and they know you figure them out, which is boring for a narcissist. They want to be around someone who doesn't know who they are, someone who doesn't know what they're about because they're able to manipulate that type of person. They can impress someone like that they can gain their attention and admiration. They can extract fuel from them. But they can't do that with you. Because you know they're not special. You know they have an inflated ego. You know they're not about anything for real. Which is why they'd prefer it if you weren't there because you keep bringing reality to them. You keep telling them the truth. And they hate reality. They don't want the truth. They only want to exist in their fantasy world where they can be seen however they choose to be seen. But if you're not going to buy into the illusion, you're not going to be any good to them. It's like you're constantly holding a mirror in front of them. And that is something they don't want to see. The last thing they want to see is a reflection of their true selves. 
They want the false self. They want the fantasy. And if you're not willing to participate in that, you might as well be dead. Thank you for watching. I hope this video resonated with you. Please like, comment, share and subscribe. If you would like to donate, my PayPal link is in the video description. Coaching inquiries, you can email me at coaching at narcsurvivor.co.uk. Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you soon.